Hey, before you scroll past, a quick PSA about misinformation. We all know that misinformation is everywhere online, but how do you avoid it and how do you tell what's real and what's fictional? Here are a few quick tips that will keep you safe from misinformation. Tip number one is to consider the source. Where is it coming from? How do you know it? Is it a source that you may recognize, like the New York Times or the Washington Post? Or is it something that you may not have heard of before but sounds familiar, like the New York Evening? Things like this can easily spread misinformation. If you're not sure about the source, another great way is to check the author. Authors are usually have a biography of sorts that can be found online. And if you can't find it, or they seem like they've had a very sketchy history, that probably is a good sign that this is not a trustworthy source. Secondly, is to check the date. This may seem simple, but many people will go onto social media and post things with out-of-time dates, stuff from years before, just because they think it'll be funny to spread this information. So if it's from 10 years ago, obviously, it won't be as relevant as something that was posted just yesterday. Also, make sure to look for your biases. We all have our biases, and that's completely fine. But some shows, like Stephen Colbert or Tucker Carlson, kind of push themselves as news when in fact they are entertainment. Make sure you're checking your biases and not just taking their opinion for facts, else you could accidentally contribute to the spread of misinformation. Another thing you can do is read beyond what you've heard. So, you've read one story, check for others. There are many numerous sites that can have a whole lot of information that can back up or go against what's being said. If everything is saying the same thing, that probably is a sign that it's good. And while you're at it, you can look at the bottom of the page, and often there will be supporting sources for your document. And if it has that, that's probably also a good sign. Finally, if you're really struggling, ask the experts. You can reach out to people at your local library or other places to check to see if this story is legit. If that's a little bit too much effort, there are websites online as well, such as factcheck.org, Washington Post Fact Checker, and Snopes. All of these are great ways to make sure that you don't spread misinformation and that you stay safe when learning things online.